This video is about Evan and Eileen. Evan and Eileen, have, they expect to inherit about $100,000 next year, and financially they're in pretty good shape. They've got a couple kids and they'd like to help out their children. So they're just wondering, you know, can they do that and are they going to be okay? And if we look at their income here, uh, this is when they're working years, they're retiring here. They both have a defined benefit plan, so they've got good pensions. So this is their cash flow in retirement. So everything looks good. If we look at their investments, we see they're here. Everything is fine. Uh, one thing I often know is people often, if they don't budget money, it, it's spent, and they're saying they have surplus money each year. Uh, if we look at that, this is the inheritance coming in, and they've got this extra each year. This is when they paid off their mortgage. I'm going to assume that maybe that money is going to help the kids, or they're spending it on something else. So let me go in and make that change. So then I've done that up until retirement at 2020, and then I'm saying at 2020 uh, they are making use of all their money. So again, we can see a surplus income here, and these are the investments, so everything looks, looks pretty good. Um, but here's a question. What happens if Evan maybe passes away at age 68? You know, and here we can see the result. I have reduced uh, the spending by about $10,000 a year, um, but we can see that the income coming in is now quite a bit less. Of course, there's no more CPP, there's no more old age security, and only 60% of Evan's uh, investment or pension plan. We can see here there's actually not enough money coming in, and if we look at the income assets, there's actually now a shortage. So the question is, you know, can they be helping their children? Um, yes, you can help the kids, but you still need to put some money away um, just in case something unexpected happens.